Now, at this point in time, everybody on the internet and their mother has probably been bombarded by those micro task websites, those pay per click websites, the survey websites saying, How about you click this button and watch this video or watch, do this survey or do this task and you make some money? <laughs> well, here's the deal that is not the way to make money online. That is definitely not the way to build generational wealth. That is chump change compared to what you can make on the internet. And you've probably also been bombarded with Amazon FBA setting up stores and things of that nature, but that takes too long. So today's video is going to be about true side hustles that you can do first of all right now without a lot of skill, without learning stuff. And it's not going to be about making chump change because you deserve to make more than that. Hey guys, my name's Yah here, founder and creator of Record Breaker, where I help you shatter past your highest revenue record months in the shortest amount of time. And in today's video, I give you three side hustles that you can start right now. So everybody's entrepreneurial journey begins with that one step begins with that one thing that one side hustle or that one big task that they want to start working on so that they no longer need to rely on that nine to five and so i'm making this video to help you shift your mindset and see the possibilities and the opportunities ready for you right now to shift from that nine to five mindset. So those of you who are creatively aligned and are creative and want to express yourself, whether it's in terms of creating music, soundtrack, sound design, or it's in terms of copywriting, or it's in terms of video editing, or it's in terms of graphic designing, your easiest side hustle is freelancing. Now freelancing is a general generic term for using what you already know to make money on an online platform. Now you might've heard of it, you might've seen YouTube videos on it, everybody's talking about it. What it means is you are working on your own. You're not associated or affiliated with any company. You work on your own hours. You work on a project basis. And while you're not committing to a nine to five, you're also not getting the benefits of that. In the last few years, the number of freelancers across the world has almost doubled. And the reason for that is because freelancing lets you make money from the comfort of your own home. You don't need to go anywhere. You don't need to commit to years of service. And you definitely don't need to work unless you absolutely want to. But here's the thing most people don't tell you about freelancing. If you continue to do it long enough, you level up your skills. You become a preferred business partner for whoever or whatever company you're working for. And eventually you can start your own agency. You can start your own company if you like, doing the same work that you as a freelancer used to do for people earlier. So it is a sustainable skill where you build on top of what you know and what you do every single time you do a new job. So a lot of people will tell you that in order to become a freelancer, you need to join platforms like Freelancer, Upwork, Fiverr, so on and so forth. But you need to think smarter. This video is about making money right now. How do you do that? You want to jump ahead of all the lines and thousands of freelancers on these platforms. The easy way to do this is to create a portfolio first. Regardless of what you do, if you're into music or editing, create a portfolio of that. If you're into graphic design, create a portfolio of that. It doesn't matter what you create a portfolio of as long as you have something to showcase to people. The next step is to reach out to the people you actually really would want to work with. Reach out to a bunch of them, share your talent, share your portfolio with them, tell them that you're willing and ready to work with them. Chances are one of them is going to reach out back to you and tell you you're hired. This way, you skip all the people waiting in line because you proactively reach out to the people that you would like to work with. Now, what are the steps towards doing it? Like I said, create a portfolio of whatever it is that you're interested in doing. Then reach out to the people that you would like to work with and showcase your portfolio to them. If you're interested in video editing, edit a video then. If you're interested in graphic designing, create a logo for them and showcase your talent and your creativity to them. If you don't know how to do anything, start from step zero, look it up on YouTube, learn how to do it, then do it. Now, if you're interested in learning more about this topic, leave a comment down below and I'll create a specific video just for how to become a freelancer. For those of you who are the extroverts and you enjoy building brands and followings is affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing follows three simple rules. Rule number one, you have an audience that trusts you. What that means is a following on a social media platform. You know a product or a service that is paying you for your recommendation and is good for your audience. And rule number three, you have a sales funnel to make that happen. What that means is a landing page where people can click, go to what the product is and order the product or the service. That's it. Now, if you're one of those people who doesn't have an audience and doesn't have people reaching out to them, you're probably like, yeah, I don't have these things. Let me help you out. 
you need to start by building an audience, positioning yourself as an expert on something and then mastering it. This should be something that you are super passionate about. If you're super passionate about fishing, create a fishing blog. If you're super passionate about motorcycles, create a YouTube channel dedicated to motorcycles. If you're super passionate about artwork, create an Instagram channel about artwork. Or if you're super interested not in creating anything but sharing information, you can even create a WhatsApp group where you share updates about live situation, current events, cultures, whatever, and everybody on that group trusts you and trusts the information that you provide. Once you have that audience, you're not gonna have to worry about getting people reaching out to you to promote their products or services. If need be, you can just become an Amazon affiliate and pretty much recommend the products listed there. So you really won't run out of things to recommend, but the smart thing to do here is to recommend a product that you have personally used and believe in. Because if you recommend the wrong product or if you recommend a faulty product, then you lose your audience's trust that you work so hard to build up. You can even sign on on platforms like Share a Sale and connect with different brands to collaborate. Now, in terms of where to start, start thinking about what it is that you're super passionate about. Is it a hobby? Is it an interest? Is it something that you'd be doing your whole life and you would like to share with the rest of the world? And then start thinking about what are the different products and aspects that integrate into that interest that people with the same interest would like to buy. So if you're interested in fishing, fishing rods, fishing equipment is something that people would be more than willing to buy. After that, all you need is a sales funnel and boom, you're on your way. If you're really interested in affiliate marketing, let me know in the comments down below and I'll create an entire video for you step by step on how you can do it right now. Now, the third side hustle is for people who aren't necessarily looking to do something big. They're not super passionate about something. They don't consider themselves creatives. They're regular people and they want some extra cash on the side. For you, ladies and gentlemen, the best thing and the easiest thing that you can start today is to become a virtual assistant online. It's easy to do. It doesn't require any major mega skills and it's very easy to find a virtual assistant job online. Now, in this case, I would recommend platforms like Upwork and Fiverr where you can and go and just find the jobs that are perfect for you. This would be enough to allow you to get your first couple of gigs to see if this is really meant for you or not. But if you want to go super hard and if you're super serious and you want to make some good amount of cash, then I recommend using my approach. My approach is reaching out to the right person, the person you would like to work with, more importantly, the person you would like to work under to learn everything that they're doing and you can pick up everything they're making you do and you can understand the skills that is needed, not just to work for that person, but to run that person's business. This can be an art studio, this can be a creative library, this can be a YouTube influencer, this can be a regular business, this can be research, this can be so many things under the sun. So you start by your initial gigs on these online platforms, you see what you love doing, and then you skyrocket in that particular gig by reaching out to the people who need your service, sharing what you do, and snagging a job with one of these people. And before you know it, you're being promoted to more senior roles within their businesses, or you're starting your own business doing that particular service and doing it better than anybody else. That's it. That's all you need to know about the three side hustles that you can start today. But the more important part of this video is to actually train your mind to start thinking, more importantly, believing in the possibility of the opportunities out there beyond the traditional conventional nine to five. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I'm out of here. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.